Hello guys, what is up? This is Goliath to Galia, bringing you guys back to the WBE this week. We are going against my man Crimson Seaband, aka Chase, who is coaching the Detroit Steel Wings. And uh, yeah, it's been a crazy time, guys. I just got back from TwitchCon, and uh, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, I guess you could say. Uh, I got this sickness actually before the con even happened, so I can't even say that it's like con blues or the plague or whatever. So yeah, I, I literally got sick the day before we left for the con. I don't know how or why, and I was sick before then with a stomach bug. So completely different sickness now. I now I have like a sore throat, and I uh, you know I'm coughing a lot. I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better now, but you know, I, every now and then if I talk too loudly, I will have to cough a little bit, so bear with me. Either way though, uh, we're going to get to my man Chase. Our team this time around will be Vaporeon, Kafkagus, Togekiss, Volcarona, Skuntank, and Mega Metacham. So, we got a slow interesting team rounding up for this week. If you guys missed out on the last week, we want to get to my man um, Nexus, who uh, we had a very, <coughs> a very interesting match with. I apologize for the coughing, guys. I really do. Um, but yeah. Chase's thing consists of Mega, Mega Latias, Skarmory, Sculpey, Cogglder, Primarina, Olo Marowak, Umbreon, Komala, Rhydon, Raichu, and Meganium. And he has Gradium Z to round out the uh, Z Crystal for the team. So his team actually is pretty damn slow compared to mine. My team is very slow. His team is very slow. So it's going to be the battle of the slow teams in a way. And his, uh, you know, the, the six Pokemon I predicted in the ring will be. Uh, Mega Latias, Skarmory, Skullpede, uh, Primarina, Aloha Marowak, and Umbreon. So those are the six I predict. And uh, yeah, he can always bring Umbreon. He can always bring Komala. He can always bring Conkledur. Those are the three other things I can see him bringing. But these are the six that I predict, or at least think will be the six best to bring up against my team. And yeah, so I actually don't know who he's going to lead off with. A bit of a sketchy lead, if anything else. I may think of the Skarm lead, if he brings the Skarm or the Skullpeed lead. Although, Skullpeed is a very important Pokemon for him. So, um, yeah, I think that maybe maybe Vaporeon will be the best thing for me to lead with. I'm not sure. Either way, he doesn't bring the Umbreon. He brings the Conkle there. Okay, so uh, let me scratch off Umbreon real quick. He brings a full-on offense, it seems like. So I think I got everything else right, I believe. Yeah, Mega Latias, Skarmory, Skullpeed, Conkledur, uh, Primarina, and uh, Aloha Marowak. So yeah, he brings everything except for the Umbreon. Instead, he brings the Conkledur, which I said, you know, has potential to come. I don't know if I saw Umbreon twice or not, but you know, it's all good. And um, yeah, it should be a quite interesting match, I must say. I don't really know what to expect. Uh, I'm just going to play for fun like we have been. And, uh, you know, we don't have the best record, but let's try to bring the record up. Either way, I don't really care if we lose the rest of, my, of, of our matches. I'm just here to have a good time. About Chase in the past, he brought a funky scissor that actually beat my whole entire team. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to count Chase out at all. He's a fantastic battler and a fantastic quality guy in general. Um, what's really nice for us to have is uh, having um, Kofrigus. So that way, um, that way, Conkledur pretty much never wants to go for anything other than knockoff, which, which is pretty nice. Um... And also coverage moves, of course. Um, now that I think about it, <laughs> I kind of want to lead off with Togekiss. But this thing can have Poison Jab. Um, it's a bit of a sketchy lead to think of. I really don't know what to lead off with in case he goes for the Conk. But honestly, I'm probably just going to go Vapor Ram nonetheless and see what he wants to do. And uh, yeah, let's go right into the match, guys. And uh, go ahead to Chase. If you guys are not already uh, subscribed to my man, Chris the Seabat, aka Chase, or following him on Twitch or Twitter or anything like that. All of his links will be down in the description down below. He's an amazing guy. Had the pleasure to meet him at TwitchCon a couple days ago, and uh, had a pleasure to, uh, you know, always just, you know, ha have fun with him. He's an awesome guy, a very, very, very underrated YouTuber, and a very underrated person as a whole. He's a very, just great person in general. So, yeah. Uh, actually, he, he leads off with the Mega Laddie ass, which is pretty nice for us. Um... Now, I have the Toxic that I can go for on literally turn 1. I feel like it's pretty much worth going for. Because um, he's probably going to be Flame Orb on the Conk. If he is not Flame Orb and he's, he ends up being um, Guts, that's a really big issue. But at least his uh, at least his turns will be numbered if he goes into Conk over here. Uh, our best play is 100% just go for the Toxic, though, on this turn. He, ha he is just going to stay in. So, kind of makes me think that he is going to be... A calm mindset, or he just is gonna go straight for the Thunderbolt. So let's see what he's gonna do over here. He's actually gonna go for his own Toxic. My man Chase really likes his Toxic. That's all I'm gonna say. 
my man Chase really likes his Toxic, so we're pretty much going to hopefully trade off Toxic over here, and we are going to trade off Toxic, so uh, interesting. He may have the Refresh on this lot, yes, but that is really, really going to, you know, make him have a very, I guess, weird moveset, like Form Syndrome is going to be at its peak at that point if he has Refresh on this thing. But the same as that time, I feel like he may, um, or not, he's, gonna, he's probably going to have Roost at, the, at, at that point. Um, I have Wish on this thing. So I'm probably just going to go for the wish over here, just to see what he wants to do. Scout it out a little bit, see what he wants to, you know, ha what he has planned or whatever. I don't have Heal Bell, unfortunately, which sucks. He's probably going to go to Kakadur at this point. Panzeron. That is a Skarmory, actually. Okay. So we're just going to go straight for the wish over here. He's probably going to try to get some hazards on the field at this point, get some rocks. That's more than likely what he was, what he's going to try to do. Um... We have uh, Togekiss that has Fire Blast and also has Defog. Um, so I can get rid of the hazards at any given point if I really want to. Um, hmm. What's the best play over here? I, I can stay and go for the Skull, but I don't think that's really going to do too much, personally. I feel like right now is the best uh, time to go into Togekiss yeah, to to Toke at this point. Um, now, if I just go in and try to go for like a Fire Blast... Um, Honestly, I may just go and you just go for like the defog or whatever. I don't know. I really actually don't know what the best play is at this point. Um, I am Scarf Togekiss, so I can't really change up my moves. Um, I don't know if you'll see the Fire Blast coming or not, but I mean, there's no other reason for me to go into Togekiss at that point. If I'm not just going to go straight for that. Hmm. This is a bit of a sketchy turn of events, if you will. I actually don't know what the best play is. Honestly. Honestly, like, you know, he's probably, he, he probably has the Brave Bird. Which is why I don't really want to go into Volcarona right now. Because we have no damage on this thing yet. I, I honestly just want to get damage first on this thing. The rocks are so obvious over here. Like, they're way too obvious. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay in and just go for the Scald. Because we have Wish Up anyways. He's going to go for the Spikes, actually. Okay. So he goes straight for the Spikes. So he's going to try to Hazard Stack, which I have Defog on Togekiss, so I'm okay with if he wants to go ahead and do that. Releasing again, nice little Skull off over here. No burn, unfortunately, but it's all good. Hmm. He probably thinks that the uh, Skun Tank may have Defog. But we only have Defog on this team. We don't have any Hazards, so that is always a thing as well. Um, I'm going to go for another Wish over here. He's going to go for the Roost. Okay, so I'm just going to go for the Wish over here. See what he wants to do. Let me just make sure to jot down what he has so far. He has the Spikes. He has the Roost. And we're going to get another Wish off. Tastic is really going to start to pile up a lot. Um... At this given moment, I'm just going to go for another Skull. That I really want to get that Skull burn right now on this Skarmory. Because, um, I don't know, like, I just, I'm not down to uh, deal with this thing getting sturdy. In case I bring Volcarona in later on, I wanted to at least have damage. So in that way, I can kill it in one shot versus, hey, I could just roost and get all my HP back or whatever. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get this Skull burn. Hopefully you can get it. That's all I need. I just need a skull burn, please. <laughs> um, it's okay if we don't get it, but I mean, obviously, obviously, it's gonna be kind of annoying if we don't get a burn and this thing it just spikes up all day. Yeah, this one I have to go into uh, Toka Kiss and just go for the defog, because I don't want this thing to just stay in here all day and just go for, you know, spikes all day thinking it's okay. He's probably going to try to figure out who has the defog first. So that he knows which one to eliminate or not. Maybe he's trying to bait out the Togekiss. Because he probably has the Iron Head. I would imagine. I kind of just want to go for the Fire Blast. But if he just switches out, then it's going to be shit. To, you know, show off already. I'm just going to go straight for the defog. Because I'm, I'm Scarfed. And I don't know when I'll be able to come in next and go for a defog. In case he gets like rocks and all spikes up and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I don't know. I I'm kind of thinking that he probably has um, Stealth Rock and a lot of Marowak. 
If you didn't have full HP right now, I'd definitely just go straight for the Fire Blast. Because we'd probably be able to do a lot with Hocus. He's actually going to go ahead and switch out. Probably go into a little Marowak over here. Go to Mercury. Which is the Prim. In case you go for the Fire Blast. That's a smart move. But we're just going to go straight for the Defog. Going to play conservatively. Hmm. Okay. So we got rid of that. Um... Primer is a huge issue. Huge issue. Um, now we do have Coffer Gigas, which has some bulk to it. Doesn't have a lot. To, doesn't have a lot of bulk to it this week, unfortunately. Primarina, especially if its scarf can really put in a number against me. Um. He's probably just gonna go for the straight for the Moonblast. And quite honestly, I don't really have anything that really wants to take a Moonblast right now. Our best choice over here would have to be to go into Vaporeon. I do have um, AV on Skuntank, but I need the Skuntank to be healthy. So, that is an issue. Um, yeah, my best choice would have to be going to Vaporeon over here. Unfortunately. He's, just, he's in here for the Moonblast. There's no reason not to. Uh, it's not an overprediction at all. Moonblast hits pretty much everything except for Volcarona strong on this team. And he has no reason to go for any water type, maybe because we have water absorb. So 157 takes us down to 119. Um, 157, I believe, was it to 19. Um, so that takes us from 69 to 8. I just want to see what kind of set this is, real quick. So I did 61 damage. About. Or did that did like 61% about. So, um, it doesn't seem like this thing is... Actually, no, that is specs damage. Because you don't see any life orb on it, so that's definitely specs damage. From what I can tell. Um... Now we have potential to outspeed this thing. Because we do naturally outspeed it. Um, I can go for a Synchro Noise. Because I do have Synchro Noise this time around. Or I can just go for the Toxic. Or I can go for the Wish. And then go into my um, Coffer Gigas for free. I'm just going to go for the Wish. Oh, he outspeeds. Okay, so this thing is faster than us. So he, we know he, this thing is very offensive. This probably doesn't have a lot of defense to it. That was pretty much the only thing I could sack off, unfortunately. Which really sucks. Uh, we know this thing isn't like super duper bulky because it has speed into it. No way you'd be able to outspeed me. Because I do have some speed investment in that Vaporeon. Plus, um, I do naturally outspeed it. So he probably sped crept whatever creep I had. <laughs> which is kind of funny, actually. Um, I wish I'd give, at least I'd get, that gives us some intel on what kind of uh, Primarina this is. I can't always go out into my uh, Togekiss over here. The problem is that I'd be taking a shitload of damage. Um, I can always go out into my Volcarona over here. Knowing this thing is probably Specs. But if he isn't Specs, and he goes for a Skull, he, he would just kill me at that point. After a Quiver Dance... After a quiver dance, we could probably live it. I just say that we have no sort of hazards up on his field, on his side of the field, so he has sturdy, still intact for the skarmory. That part really sucks. Um. Now, if we go ahead into our Mega Medicham, I believe we could just kill him in one shot, no matter what. I believe. 
Yeah, Thunder Punch from Mega Man Shim should kill this thing 100% in one shot, no matter what. Unless he's Wakanberry. <laughs> Which is, if he's Wakanberry, then, you know, GG, I got played, but I pl I'm pretty sure he's Specs. I don't think there's anything else that he can be. Um, I'm just going to play it safe. I know the choice of a switch in would definitely have to be to go out into Lone Marowak or to go out into uh, Mega Eladias. But um, there's no point of over predicting and being like, okay, let's go for the, you know, Ice Punch <laughs> or let's go for the Psychic Cut or whatever. Um, I, I gotta just go for the Thunder Punch. He may, he may pretty me going for the Poison Jab. Which, a little Marowak would be the better choice to go into anyways. So, um, I have to go for the Thunder Punch, unfortunately. Uh, it sucks. Because he's probably just gonna go into Lone Marowak, which is the choice 99.9% of the time. Yeah, that's the Lone Marowak for sure. Um, I just didn't want to overpredict over there, because if I did that, then that would suck. He's gonna have the Lightning Grab or the Link Leo. Lightning Grab, um, boost special attack, so it's not really gonna really- It's not gonna help him or anything like that, which is fine. Yeah, so he's, he's, we're going to say Lady Grab, that's fine. That's fine. That w I, I just had to play it safe over there, because if I didn't, then we would be screwed. Uh, for lack of better term. Problem is, is that he can just go for the Shadow Bone over here. So in a way, I kind of wish I did go for the Psycho Gut. But at the same time, I mean, I had to play it safe over there. I, I cannot be playing, like, ballsy as hell. Um, whenever I don't really have uh, any sort of win con. Going for me. If I had, if I, if this thing had knockoff, it'd be so nice. By the way, I must say, it'd be so nice for this thing. Um, Shadow Bone just goes 99 percent of the time. Uh, we have nothing that, that occurs this thing with uh, with our beautiful Mega Uh Togekiss, I don't think any has anything that can really kill it in one shot either. And Shadow Bone would do a lot of damage to us over there as well. Um, Unfortunately, I feel like I had kind of have to go out into uh, Tokikus. I feel like I don't have anything else to go into. Um, he he has a very good team, I must say. He has a very good team, a very scary team at that. Um. Granted, it's slow. Our team is also slow. Um, and he definitely has the momentum on us right now. I'm quite rusty in battling. I haven't done it, <laughs> I've done it in a little bit. Of course, it's not an excuse by any means, shape, or form. But I just thought I'd mention that. Um, I'm going to switch out to Tokikus over here. If he goes to the Flubber, it's a may just kill me outright. He's going to go for the Shadow Bone, though. That's going to do a lot of damage. Wait. That did nothing. That did like 32%. What the fuck kind of set is this? Is he like Jolly? Is he a bulky set? What the hell is that? Or is he just not running the Thick Club? How do you not run Thick Club? This man ain't running Thick Club. What the hell are you running, my guy? Um... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go for the air slash and see what kind of set this thing is. That's bulky. That's a bulky. <clears throat> that's a bulky villain Marowak right there. Hmm. Hmm. That that caught me off guard. That damage was so little. I was like ready to say goodbye to my Togekiss after that shot, man. It wouldn't outright kill me, but uh, it would do a lot of damage. Um. He's, he's definitely got to switch out over here. He's definitely gonna have to switch out over here. <coughs> I apologize for my coughing, guys. I apologize. Hmm. He can he can easily just go into Skarmory over here. But I'm just gonna go straight for the air slash again. He isn't? Okay, good thing I stayed in. So I never really ran this scarf. Oh, he goes for the stealth rack. Okay. I had a feeling 
If you're running a bulky low Marowak, you gotta be running Stealth Rock, too. <laughs> now, if only I was running Magic Code again, that'd be pretty fucking awesome. He's probably gonna want to conserve this thing. He isn't. Okay. <coughs> He's already seen me use Defog before, so... Interesting that he went for the rocks over there. Very interesting. Togekiss kills Lolan Marowak. So we know that that was his only way to get rocks up on the field. I'm pretty sure, at least. Uh, I don't think the Skarmory knows it. I think Skarmory's just there for the spikes. So he's trying to hazard stack and all that. Meaning that I need to keep Togekiss alive. Very important. Me, Togekiss, to stay healthy. I need to bring it in after um, a death happens, or if a very passive mon comes in, which on this team there's no passive mon. <sighs> why are you tempting me to do it just to, to, to just stay in? Like why why are you tempting me to just stay in and use <laughs> and, and you go for a nice little uh, oh, like air slash? Like he's definitely gonna be. He's definitely going to be Protect. And after Protect, he's going to get the speed boost. And then he'll be able to outspeed me. No, no, no doubt about that. <clears throat> Let me just make sure I do outspeed him, though. I'm pretty sure I do. Like, no matter what, I should be able to outspeed him with this, like, uh, nice little set. But he's definitely going to get for Protect over here. And I feel with that being said, I should definitely just go out into my Kafkagus. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> I feel no matter what, I have to go into Copper Gus over here. Um, <clears throat> there's no way, for, there's there's no reason for me to stay in because this is gonna go for the protect. In case I am scarfed, unless he really doesn't think I'm scarfed. Otherwise, you know, yeah. He's just gonna go straight for the poison jab. <clears throat> I mean, like I'm scarfed, but I don't know. That that was a little weird. That's a little weird. So we're not gonna let him get any sort of speed. He's life orb, so like. Wait, I could have I could have stayed in though. I could have stayed in, as I'm scarfed. Damn it, dude! The one time, the one time I could have just stayed in and go for the air slash, dude. I would have fucking killed him. Oh no, I would have sped tied. I, I would I would I would have actually uh, dropped the speed tie. Actually, funnily enough, because if, he, if he's max speed Jolly, he's at 180. With my speed times 1.5, I'm actually 180 as well. So and that's interesting. So let me just make sure I know it. Um, Skullipede is Life Orb, Poison Jab. Um, I don't think there's any reason not for me to go for um, Pain Split over here. So I'm just gonna go for the Pain Split. He's gonna whistle switch out. He's gonna go into Pennywise, which is the cock. Which we're gonna get a nice little Pain Split off. <clears throat> Gonna get a lot of our HP back, which is nice. We don't see Flame Orb activate. So he's definitely AV. Definitely AV. So let's see our Kafir Gigasek compared to a Kalk. Because I don't go against Kalk enough, but I know this thing is a monster. I know it gets knockoff. And I know it'll probably outspeed me. How much does knockoff do? Whenever it isn't burnt. It doesn't do a lot at all, actually. It doesn't do a lot at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stay in here for the shadow ball. He's gonna go for the rock slide. So he predicted me to go into Vulk over there. I guess? Or he's just gonna go for the flinches. Interesting. Or did he predict? Did he predict me to go for the to into the Tokikus? Predicting, yeah, he definitely predicted me to go into Tokikus over there. See, I could take a knockoff. That's a thing. Yeah, I could take a knockoff quite nicely. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna take away his guts, which he's guts. Okay. Obviously, he's not sure for us because he just flinched me. We're holding the Kasi Berry in case of uh, Shadow Balls and whatnot. 
And we're gonna actually take this thing down a lot. Which is super nice. Now over here, I kind of want to go for the memento. But for at the same exact time, I don't know. That would give me a free switch to go out into Tokikiss and then go for a defog. Now, with me not having an item anymore, knockoff, two knockoffs should be able to kill me still. We're at 88 HP. I'm sorry for the old calcs, by the way, guys. It's just that this is one of the things you gotta do as a battler. Um, yeah, if he's AV Shadow Ball, pretty much do nothing. I'm just gonna go for the Memento over here. He's gonna switch out. I hope he goes into something super powerful. Mercury. Perfect. That actually really fucks over uh, Primarina. So we're gonna go for the Memento. Okay. First time I remember running Memento, it's an interesting move. Um, I may have done it a little bit too early, but that's fine. Um, at this point he's minus two. Uh, if I go on to Mega Medichan. Can I take a minus two moon blast from his specs? I, I don't think I can. Like, I don't think I can take two, at least. Um, <coughs> if he's minus two, nah, I'm not even worth taking. Not, not even worth it. Not even worth it. Um, it sucks that he has rocks on the field, because then I just go straight into my uh, Volcarona over here. <coughs> But I feel like I kind of have to just go for the defog. Hmm. I really wish we had rocks uh, on his side of the field because um, that Skarmory is just kind of showing their full HP and everything. And I can't do really much about it. I have to get rid of the rocks over here though. We've only taken out one Pokemon on his side of the field. Mega Latias is toxic. Most of his stuff is pretty healthy. Conkle there is at half HP. Um, we could say he's the salt best. Knock off Rock Slide. We're going to go for the Defog over here. And now we do not have Cough to take on this thing, which is an issue, because this thing is a monster, and it can pretty much take on my team. Fully loaded. Um, which sucks really badly. Um, mm, yeah, I think he may just win with this thing, if, if I'm being honest. We know he's Life Orb. Um, this thing is just a monster, and could practically take on my whole entire team by itself, if I'm being honest. Um, now, if he uses Earthquake against my Skuntank, it's a 2 at KO. Damn, dude. If he goes for a Swords Dance over here, he pretty much just wins. He pretty much just wins, and he probably has the rock slide too. That's the thing. Um. See, I just want to—I I just want to stay in, but I'm scarfed, so there's no point in me staying in. Oh man, <laughs> I have to go into scunt. <laughs> I have to go into Skuntang over here. Um, if he goes for the Swords Dance, he just wins. Uh, there's no way that I win if he goes for the Swords Dance over here. He's in here for the Poison Jab. Okay, good. Oh, that does so much damage. What? That does so much damage, dude. Holy shit. Crazy. I'm very happy he didn't go for the Swords Dance, though, because if he did, then that pretty much just. That pretty much is just the GG. 
Unfortunately, Earthquake from this uh, range will be able to kill me in one shot. 100%. No no question about it. Um, I'm just going to go for the Fire Blast though in case he doesn't have the Earthquake, which... If he doesn't, that's kind of crazy. If he doesn't have the Earthquake, then that's very nice for me. All we know is that he has Poison Jab so far. He hasn't shown any other move. He can have the rock slide over. He can have the. He can have the rock slide over the earthquake. That's a thing. I have fire blast. I'm not afraid to touch it. I'm not afraid to use it. Um. I kind of hope he goes into his skarmory thing, and then I'm just gonna go for like a crunch. Ah, he has the earthquake. Okay. Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Yeah. I don't think we can win this game. We'd have to really uh, just. Set up hardcore with uh, Volcarona at one point. I don't think there's any Pokemon I really can sit up on 100%. Um, yeah. <laughs> this cough is annoying as hell, by the way. Holy shit. Mm. My only hope would have to be, like, if I were to go into Volcarona right now, I, I can just go into Volcarona, but if he has Rock Slide, I'm dead. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. That's a thing. Honestly, the best thing that I could set up on would be Mega Latias with, uh, with Volcarona. I'm gonna go to Mega Metacham. I think that's the best thing I can really do right now. Thorgus just dies since it comes in. If he has Rock Slide, then Volcarona just dies. This is my best bet to just come in and um, try to put in some uh, pressure, if anything else. I try to put in some pressure. Um, yeah, I just have to go straight off for the uh, Psychic over here. He's probably just going to think he can kill me with Megahorn. He's actually going to switch out. He's going to get to Pennywise. So he's going to sack off the... Uh, he's going to sack off the... He's probably just gonna get to Lone Marowak at this point. Wait, Lone Marowak is dead. Hmm. Mega Medicham kills Conkolder. Like, that's a sack. Uh, of course, 100% of the time, that's a sack, but. Um, I guess he goes into Skarmory, maybe. Or maybe, would he just go into Mega Latias at this point? Does he not have an answer to this thing? If, I don't know if he has an answer to this thing, if I'm being honest right now. Like, does he even have an answer? Goes to Panzer on. I have some bulk in this Metacham. And I know he has his uh, beautiful Sturdy. But does he kill me in one shot with Brave Bird? Does he just kill me in one shot with Brave Bird? That's that's the question. No. I have to stay in, and we just have to go for the, uh... Let's just go for the Thunder Punch, and then after that I gotta go for the Dream Punch. <clears throat> it won't kill him, obviously, but it's gonna do a, it's gonna do a good enough damage. Rocky Helmet? Brave Bird. Oh, the Rocky Helmet may fuck me. Hmm. <clears throat> No, we live in. Whew. It sucks because... Um, it sucks because I'm just going to die to a uh, Rocky Helmet right now. Trading off Mega Medichin for Skarmory really sucks. But there's nothing else I can really do. Nothing else I can really do at this point. I don't think Drain Punch can bring me up enough to, uh... I mean, he can just bring in Skullbeat afterwards to clean me up anyways, so it's not like it matters much. But I'm just gonna go for the Drain Punch in case, somehow, some way, I can uh, get enough HP back to where Rocky Helmet won't kill me. I don't think... I think I think I take Rocky Helmet damage first. Okay, I don't. Do I... I think I live. Oh, he live. But he can just go out into his uh, Skullbeat at this point. So it doesn't matter that much, but yo, that's pretty clutch. <clears throat> Mega Metacham kills 
Skarmory. Now he goes into Mega Latias. So he probably is sped Kreptat, be able to outspeed me at this point. <clears throat> hmm. I kind of need uh, Togekiss in case I do outspeed. Uh, in case he doesn't have protect on Skullpeed and he can, uh, and and I can air slash him to death. At this point, Skullpeed and Megalanias both outspeed me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this thing die. It it, it did it did its work. It, it did it did its job. It did its job. It did its job 100%. I really don't think he has any way to kill off my um, Volcarona in one shot. So at this point, I kind of have to go into Volcarona and just start quivering up. <clears throat> that's my that's that's just what I have to do. If I don't win, then it's fine. <laughs> Um, this is definitely a fun match. I'm a little out of it, and I can definitely understand why you guys may be like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy while I'm out of it? <sighs> but, um... Yeah, let's see how much Psy Shock does to us. We are quite... We have we have some uh, defense investment, actually. <laughs> if he has the HP Rock, that's going to be kind of insane. Um, I'm going to go for the Quiver Dance, though. This is, the, this is just what I have to do. He's near for the side shock. This shouldn't do too much damage. <clears throat> it all comes down at this point if Skullipede. Actually, no, do I even kill Primaruna from this range? It all comes down to if Skullipede. Uh, has protect or not, actually. Because I have Life Orb, and Life Orb is literally the one reason why I can't just go for another Quiver Dance right now. If I didn't have Life Orb Recall to worry about, I would just go for another Quiver. But if I go for another Quiver and he goes for the Sash over here, it's gonna, be, it's gonna bring me down to enough where I'm screwed by Life Orb Recoil. Now let's see, how much damage did he do over there? <clears throat> <clears throat> so you're probably down 40%. If you're used to be down another 40%, Life Orb Recoil does about like 9%. If he gets a higher roll, then I'm kind of screwed. So I kind of just have to go for the Bug Buzz over here. Let's see how much we do against a Primarina with Good Good Rain. We don't even kill Primarina with Good Good Rain. But then again, he's not as bulky as we thought he was. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of just have to go for the bug buzz over here, though. Nothing else we can do. Nothing else we can do. So let's just go for the bug buzz. Let's kill this thing off. This would be one hell of a comeback if we can make it a comeback. Throw Corona kills Mega Latias. Insane if we can make this a comeback. Insane. Insane if we can make this a comeback. He may just go straight into uh, Primarina over here. Thing is, is that I am quivered up. That is one thing. I am quivered up right now. And if I can get enough Giga Drain recovery, maybe, just maybe. Actually, Giga Drain may just kill him off in one shot. So I kind of hope he does go into um, Primarina right now. He's going to go to Mercury, which is obviously. Oh, it's a Primarina. Shit. <clears throat> That's a thing. We're not gonna kill him. But it's gonna come close to if we can live. Damn, if I didn't have life orb right now, I could have gone for another quiver over there and just literally swept. Let's go for the quick let's go let's go for the giga drain now. Let's see how much let's see how much we're gonna do. Oh baby! We kill him off. Is that a crit? That's not even a crit! Oh baby! Volcarona coming through! So he does not bring any sort of HP investment in that thing. We just we just saw that right there. We just saw that right there. Volcarona kills Primarina. I think I don't want to get swiped right now. But maybe just maybe we just made the most epic comeback ever. 
Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, baby! We just made an insane comeback. Didn't even have to protect on his Sculpede. Volcarona brings this thing back, and we win 2-0. Like, every other week, we either win 2-0 or we lose 2-0. GG to Crips and Seabad. Go check him out, like I said before, guys. Uh, Volcarona, we made sure the rocks were on the field for this thing to come in and do its thing. And um, Mega Medichamp put in the finest of work, take it on that beautiful Skarmory and just bring it on the pressure like it always seems to do. I can't believe we won that match. I thought we lost that match 100% of the time. Uh, guys, go check out my man Chris Seabad, though. He's an amazing guy. Check out his side of this commentary. Probably is better than mine because I'm sick right now. So I apologize for my uh, sickness. If you guys are hyped, be sure to drop a like. And be sure to type in console shit down below. <clears throat> Stop coughing, you piece of crap you just won. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. And um, hopefully next time I won't be coughing up a freaking storm. Love you guys so much. I'll catch you later. Peace out.